example, you, you see the list of payments, but but nothing else. You, you can't do anything with that. And I, I thought that was that was a pity that you cannot really see unless you do your own Excel sheet and and you you put all the data. You don't actually know what what's, what's going on with your finance. So my name is Martin Solnička, and uh, I started the, the project, the website mořefinancí.cz, which is uh, in Czech means sea of finance. In English, it looks like more of finance. Uh, I was studying at the University of Economics here in Prague. During that time, I also uh, joined the other master program, which is called Master in International Management, CEMS master program in Rotterdam. Uh, after finishing university here, uh, I took uh, an internship in, in Vienna, which was part of the the SEMS master program, and then I started a full time job here in Prague, in KPMG in advisory. The department was uh, risk advisory services when I where I was about three years, almost three years, and during the time. Actually, before leaving, about half a year before leaving, it happened to me that I saw saw an, uh, a website, an American website, Mint.com, which is a personal checking finance website, and that made me like, wow, this is this is amazing, and and I, I want this, <laughs> I want to see it in in Czech, and I and then I started looking if there is actually anything like that. There is something which is which is helpful, which which helps people to, to better know where their finance are going and also coming from and that is something which is lacking in the banks if, if you and we all know that the the internet banking in the banks in Czech it's pretty poor you can just send your payment but that's all you see the list of payments but but nothing else you, you can't do anything with that and I, I thought that was that was a pity that you cannot really see unless you do your own Excel sheet and and you you put all the data. You don't actually know what what's, what's going on with your finance. And many people once they see it, they say, "Wow, this is amazing! I didn't know wh where it actually goes." So I was looking for the opportunity to, if there is actually the opportunity to 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 make this, because the American market is couple of years at least ahead always. Then I saw some some similar projects in Europe as well, which was closer and I was like thinking, okay, maybe in, in Czech this is also possible to work. And I actually found some projects working in Czech, but the way they were working, I wouldn't say it was for users, very friendly and, and, and nice, because on, all of them or most of them are founded by IT guys and programmers. Me, myself, I was on the side of the user and not a programmer at all. So I was looking for something which would be for more people, user friendly. And, and uh, then it happened that I quit the job and, and said, OK, uh, it, it makes sense for me to, to start this company and, and see how it goes. Pretty much from the beginning, I was aware that I got some, because I didn't start with the, with the huge amount of money in my pocket, so I knew I, I should do something which will attract someone to, to, to want to develop it as well. That was my idea and that's why I started to approach some investors or took part in the comp competition or it, it was kind of competition, the, the idea of the year sponsored by Vodafone last year. And this was a way how to, how to get to some investors and how to find someone who would, who would share the same feeling about it and wanna, would be able or willing to, to invest in, in such project. And that was Martin Kassa, who is investor on, in, on the Czech market, who is interested in, in IT startups or, or IT-based startups. And we somehow made the deal that he, he, he is part of, he just bought a, a stake in the company and uh, we are trying to develop it on the next stage. This is a project which is not for like quick money making, meaning that you will start something and in, in within one month because you're not selling the, the, the bread or shoes. You, this is something more, let's say, long term. But on the other hand, not, we don't want to wait or we don't have money to wait like 10 years until it makes something. So you were right. The, the, the business model is not 100% fixed yet. There are some streams. The main should be 
the fees of selling products to the customers. And the aim is, based on a good data analysis, to be able to, to offer someone a product that he might be willing to get the offer, or he, he, he would like appreciate. It's not about putting a lot of commercial and just making the people fed up with the commercials. That's, that's not the point. So what is the whole service about? Is if you if you go to our website, you can make a re registration, log in with the, any email. That's that's the principle is not to have any like personal data because we don't really care kind of about who you are, but but personally. So so you just make an email, made up an email, set it, set up a profile, and then you can either the manually input data, which is not for everybody, not everybody is willing to do it manually, or you just upload your electronic or bank account and the software offers you some pre-categorization, meaning based on what you spent on or where it was, it will tell you or give you an idea or give you a pre-selection of category that it was and you just confirm or you can change it or you can set up your own categories. Even before you upload your data, there is a test, like dummy account, that you can see what all you can do with the data. You can sort them, you can see them in the charts, different ways, different charts, different views. You can sort them on the uh, text basis, on the databases, on the term or on the, uh, the amount of money you're looking for. So, so there's many ways you can set up budgets. You set a budget for some category and once you, you're in half of the month, and you already spent all the money within the category, it will give you an email saying, watch out, there is something wrong because you set up either the low budget or you are much more spending than you, than you actually wanted. So all these supporting services for sharing uh, costs within the group and tracking it because there is always a mess if five people buy something together for example, like celebration and, and presents, someone buys a flower, someone buys something else, and then someone shares part of the present with someone else. So, so all, these, all these helpful things within personal finance category itself. I know you can, you can set uh, regular payments to see. In the, in, so there's a lot of, there are a lot of uh, services supporting the whole personal finance tracking idea.